WebSim AI, we're going to be messing around with this again. It's a web simulator using AI, so we can use Sonnet, GPT-40, Haiku, Sonnet 3, and Opus to build any website we want. Keep in mind, these are not real websites. We can actually download them after we build them. But what we can do is just make up a URL, basically. So a domain like uh, games.com, et cetera. So what we're going to do is just mess around with this today, test it out, and see what we can generate. And I'll show you a couple cool things that might give you ideas. And yeah, we'll just start with something random. So you can log in to this with uh, Google, uh, I think Facebook, et cetera. Uh, there's a, actually a really good Reddit, Discord, and, and obviously on Twitter, X, to, uh, to learn more about this and see what other people are doing. Or you can just kind of surf around here, the top things people are building using this platform. So we're just gonna put in something like We'll just do some type of game. And let's do a, instead of Excite Bike, let's do Excite Surfer and see what happens and see if something pops up using that. So we just literally put in any domain that we want. It doesn't matter if it's available or not. You can just kind of build off this. The cool thing too is once it's generated, you can download this or you can share it with somebody and uh, you can download all the code and, and build off of it yourself. So it just created this right off, right off the, uh, right off the get go. So now let's do a, so build this site. Let's do a, let's change this to excitesurfergame.com and see if we get an actual game. But this is all generated in real time using these AIs and everything's just built instantly as you go. If you click on something, it's going to generate a new page, any one of these things. So you can see here this uh, bar at the top left initializing. It's going to go ahead and load. So sometimes it takes a little bit of time and it just depends on, on the usage. But I think a lot of people have been having fun with this and using it. So there's probably a lot of people actually testing it out. So now we have our game. The cool thing too now is uh, it's still loading, I think. Let's, well, let's see if we can start it. So if we start and then we can click jump. So obviously there's a button for jump. Uh, what we can also do, so it's got an issue here where every time it's, It hits a, a red thing it's uh, pausing and everything so we can you know edit this um, we can actually if we can get it through here and we can edit this all right so once your game is paused or if there's issues with it you can actually just right click on it click edit and you can edit the element so we could say use space bar So you can just type your prompt in here and then it's going to go ahead and reload again. So we got the initializing thing. So we'll let this reload again uh, and we'll see if that gives us some more control over the game. So it's not locking up every time we're sitting there touching one of these things. And again, you should just be able to prompt these things as you go, right clicking on, on, uh, on your site and giving it some prompts, etc. So we'll let this load and, and give that another shot. So we got our base bar to start. Okay, so now we have the game set up. All right, our game's loaded, so we should be able to jump. So it's gonna take a second here for everything to kick in. Let's give it a second here, start over. So yeah, we can jump now. And then, uh, and if we wanna jump higher, we can actually tell it that. So if we restart, let's make sure the duck works. Start again, duck, 
So it made it smaller, but it's not small enough to duck. So we're gonna have to reprompt that. So let's go ahead and edit this one more time. And what we can do is say, And we'll just highlight that, the B key, the B key. We'll, we'll just leave it like this. So we'll just do that. And then one, one prompt at a time here, we'll see what, what that does. So it's going to obviously reload one more time. So initializing, I'm going to go through this whole step again. And it's going to reload. And then we can uh, give it another test here. So it'll reload, and then once this loading bar is ready, you'll be able to uh, start the game. So let's go ahead and, so now we can jump. If we hit B, oh, scrolled up, let's go ahead and test the B key so we can duck, we can jump. And now we have a semi-working game. So we can jump, we can duck, it looks like it, yeah, so, so it is working just with some prompts here. It's not perfect, but going off some simple prompts, kind of fun, right? So you keep you entertained. And then uh, we could say, give it another prompt, let that load, and then we can see if we can jump higher. You know, you could add flight with keys, etc., cetera, and uh, really dive into whatever you're building. And then again, you could just download it and then work with the code. If you're a developer, somebody that understands this stuff, you know, building something just fun that you can test out maybe real quick. So again, it's gonna reload and then initializing. So here we are. And it never works the first time for some reason, so we just got to kind of let it restart. Uh, if we restart the game, now we can jump. So it's jumping higher, obviously. And then, uh, oops. So jumping higher, we can still get small here. You can duck, jump high, then duck. Whoops. So it's working. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get detailed with some of these prompts and see if we can start changing some of the elements. And I'm looking for limits. A lot of people on the Reddit, like I said, is uh, there's a lot of limits I've been seeing. I haven't seen any limits yet, but I haven't created anything today other than what we're doing right now. So we'll see if we get any limits creating. So just regenerating again. This one might take a little bit longer just because it has a lot more, probably a lot more it's got to do in the code to, to make that possibly. I don't know. It's also probably dependent on the time of the day. It's a weekend right now when I'm recording this. So people might be just messing around with it and using up the server. Not sure when these guys will start charging the fees and stuff, but I understand if they will. There's probably, you know, they run these APIs for all these different uh, platforms like Sonnet and GPT and all these things. And it probably costs them a lot for all these generations. So I'm sure that will be coming, but just wanted to give it another test because it is free now. I think there's just some limits. And uh, yeah, it's just fun just messing around. So we got another version here still initializing. So we'll just give that a second and then uh, we should be good. 
Still waiting on this one. I think we're a few minutes in, waiting for this one to generate here. So hopefully that one uh, shows up soon. It's like we're still showing initializing. So hopefully this one will be live here in a minute. Changing that player into a stick figure. We're gonna see if that prompt works, give it a test. I guess the nice thing about AI too is if, you know, the, the cool thing about AI is just ask, right? Like if it can't do something, it won't. So the, the fun thing is just thinking of things and trying it. Might be able to even ask it to use this little guy in the game. I'm not sure where this came from, but this is, might be something I could ask for this little guy to be used in the game as well. But yeah, still loading, initializing, so we'll wait. All right, so we're back here. Just got done generating. So if we uh, restart the game, so now we got our guy on a little round surfboard. Uh, we can jump, restart the game with the space. Duck, look even ducks. Looks like he ducks, kinda. that's funny. So I wonder if you can double jump. So that's another thing too. It's uh, maybe uh, you know if we wanted to jump off the top of these, that might be a thing too that we could prompt. But just a fun uh, a fun test of web sim. I haven't run out of credits yet, but I might do another video here. We've generated quite a bit. I might do some more another video messing around with another another type of website here but hope you guys enjoy this if you like it check it out websim.ai um, create an account give it a test let me know what you think down in the comments it's a lot of fun again you can share this stuff you can download it and then surf a lot of other people's cool sites that they're building which can be fun Somebody made a Game Boy Advanced emul emulator, so that might be fun coming through and testing this kind of stuff out. An interactive TV room. This, <laughs> this is interesting. I'd like to know, you know, how they did this. So we got, we can actually Legal turn the TV news, on. There are ways to bet scroll. when you are 18. We've created an epidemic of child gambling. You can't walk into a mouth no, got live audio. on a college campus without sports betting happening. It's America's most neglected problem. I, I use think. sports betting as a way to, to escape, when in reality I'm choosing self-destruction. Whatever I have left. But yeah, I mean, oh yeah, you can. The purpose yeah, of the, the industry is, is to get you to play to extinction. So that's that interesting. All your money is gone. We've got different channels we can tune into, and this is all done on WebSim AI. Again, these aren't real websites. This is a simulator using AI to build all this stuff. You can download these sites, games, whatever you build, and kind of build off them. Doesn't look like that one's working, but yeah, check it out. If you like this video, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.